Okay, so this in this video, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out how to how to make a solution when starting with a uh, a solid. So anyway, step one is like how much do you want to make, and so you want it when it, when it asks you that you want to look for the volume when it says how much you want to make. So that's looking for the volume. So we're going to do this in a picket fence format. So you start by writing down how much you want to make with the volume and you draw a picket fence. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is like how concentrated do you want it? That's the molarity. And so when you see this 3.0 M, okay, what that means, that's the molarity. That means that you want to make it with 3.0 moles in one liter, but that's also equal to 3.0 moles in 1,000 milliliters because one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So you can have it written in this form or this form, but you need to match the volume units to what you start with. So since we're starting with liters, we want it in this form right there. So that's going to be the second step. We're going to write 3.0 moles of NaOH uh, for every 1,000 milliliters. That's how strong we want to make it, or how concentrated. Okay. The third step is just changing to grams using the molar mass. So we just write one mole NaOH. See how I have the principle of diagonality: mole NaOH, moles NaOH. See how they're going diagonal? Okay. And then we're going to do the molar mass of NaOH. So there's one Na, and that's 23 grams if you look at the periodic table. So that's 23. There's one oxygen. That's 16 grams. So 16 grams. And then we have one hydrogen, which is one gram. So that's one gram. So that equals 40 grams. So that goes right there. 40 grams NaOH. Then you take your calculator and you take 75 times 3 times 40, then divide by everything on the bottom, divide by 1,000. And I get 9. Uh, because this has two significant digits, I'm going to write 9.0 grams NaOH. Okay? That's, that's how you would do a problem like that. Okay? Oops, went too far. All right, so let, let's try another one. How many grams of calcium hydroxide are required to make uh, 3.5 liters of a 0.4 molar solution? Okay, well, step one, how much do we want to make? Okay, 3.5 liters. We draw the picket fence. Okay, how concentrated? So we want it 0 0.40 capital M, which means 0 0.40 moles in one liter, or it could stand for 0 0.40 moles in 1,000 milliliters because one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Okay, but we got to decide which form do we want it in, the liter form or the milliliter form? Well, we want it in the liter form so it matches our volume units that we started the problem with. So 0 0.40 moles calcium hydroxide, and then that's going to be over one liter. Okay, we got to keep going. Okay, now we want to change to grams. One mole calcium hydroxide. We got to figure out the molar mass. So we got one calcium. That's times 40 grams. So that equals 40. We've got two oxygens times 16 grams, so that equals 32. And we've got two hydrogens times one gram, so that equals two. We add all that up, that's 74 grams. So the molar mass is 74 grams calcium hydroxide. Okay, then we take the calculator and do the button pushing. So if we take 3.5 times 0.4 times 74, that equals around, I'm going to write it down here, that equals around 103.6 grams 
of calcium hydroxide. Okay, and if you, I guess you could round that off to significant digits, so that would be, uh, you'd probably have to write it in scientific notation to do that. So 1.0 e to the second grams calcium hydroxide. All right, oops, that's it for that.